welcome to my channel progress with professor mahamani first of all i thank all my subscribers for your continuous support those who are watching this video first time please subscribe my channel so in this video i am going to talk about top 50 tips to finish phd work faster uh, i think i feel this is the right time to discuss uh, many of the university they given phd notification the first tip is choose the university as per the nir or qs ranking along with research facility so two things are important one is nir of ranking this is uh, mainly considered for faculty recruitment in uh, some universities and other research uh, laboratory recruitment and similarly research uh, facility also important and the second tip is select the supervisor and phd topic within your specialization so whatever your specialization you pick uh, as per the supervisor and PhD topic, then only easy to complete. And third uh, tip is choose pre PhD core or coursework within your specialization. Somebody they will take other specialization and uh, struggle to complete the coursework, so finally it will end up with problem. So select the coursework within your specialization. Uh, fourth one PhD topic should be within your research interest. So whatever your interested area, you select the PhD topic, it is very easy. And fifth one, maintain a smooth relationship with your supervisor. This is very important because your uh, supervisor support role is very essential, not only doing PhD, right? And uh, somebody they will quarrel with the supervisor, that is not good. Are, uh, your supervisor is your thesis supporting authority. And in future also, if you want to join anywhere, uh, they are asking the letter of reference. So if you are maintaining smooth, uh, smooth relationship, definitely he will help you in lifelong. If you go to next slide, uh, prepare a research proposal by consulting your supervisor. Research proposal preparation already I uploaded a video, so it is available in the description. You can check it. Uh, the research proposal in the sense, the PhD planner, time schedule, uh, what are all the publication you are planning, every information will be available. Please uh, check the link, uh, video link in the description box. Next one, plan the research work, publication and thesis editing within three years. You don't plan anything beyond three years. And the next one, uh, do not compromise with your literature collection and review. Somebody they will uh, do very minimal literature, uh, collecting very few papers based on their uh, uh, the minor papers opinion. I mean uh, the outcome. They will write the article that is not good. Uh, many times it will go wrong. The right practice is it is available in next point. Uh, write a detailed literature review by considering more than 100 papers. So this is uh, a good practice. At least you, sal you uh, select 100 papers within your research topic and you do the literature review. That is a right practice. Next point is write one review article. It can be used in thesis with little alteration. So writing some literature review article and that will help you in many ways. So whenever you are writing article, you can pick, pick the literature from your already published paper and a thesis. Both uh, paper and thesis, you can uh, make little alteration, so it will come to If you go to next slide, identify from the literature review, you identify 4 to 5 research gap. Sometimes it is called as a knowledge gap. So uh, within the 4 to 5, you select the research problem in most optimistic way. So uh, by considering cost, time, safety and the quantum of work. So this uh, discussion already we made in previous video. And the next point, PhD research is a challenging task, not easy task, but at the same time it is not a difficult one. It is a challenging task, but not difficult. Take ownership of your research work. So always you are, you will be the one of you. Don't allow your supervisor or someone uh, to take ownership like that. And use your supervisor as a mentor, not a policeman. You take a support, moral support and uh, motivation. This thing you get it from your supervisor. You don't allow your supervisor to be a policeman. More monitoring each and every activity it is not good. So many times it will end up with final failure. If you go to next slide, uh, don't dishearten when one idea of research is failed. So uh, if uh, one idea of research is failed, immediately you plan for others. You have a supervisor, he will help you. So don't dishearten, that is important here. And progress your research work as per the PhD schedule. Previously we are making PhD proposal, there you have a PhD schedule, time schedule, everything is there. You progress, always you map with your schedule. So uh, if any lab, if you found any labs, so you do, do something. That point I will come later. So next point, proceed with your research work as per the logic, that is important. Proceed uh, with your research work as per the logic, that is important. And next point, do not prolong your research work 
for long time uh, this will affect the lab schedule so you are uh, doing research work in particular laboratory they will give a schedule if you are prolonging your research then uh, the lab schedule will be disturbed someone will come to you for research work in place of you and finally if you are delaying one year you need to pay one year tuition fees that is uh, again the burden to you and again uh, next point be smart enough to uh, uh, smart enough and uh, do not waste your intelligence whatever required you use it you don't waste your intelligence at any point of time if you go to next slide uh, you should be well versed with your work than your supervisor supervisor uh, role is it's just supporting you uh, you have to be well versed with your research work that is important and uh, you don't stand always uh, in behind the supervisor so you are the person you are the owner of the your research work and you place the research lab as maximum as possible so uh, you are uh, selecting research lab and you try to place as maximum as possible next point is go for consultancy if you facilities are not available some minor facilities yeah, it is it is all not available you can go for consultancy nothing wrong it is very difficult to get all the research facility within the single lab and the research work is entirely different from article writing uh, somebody they will put in doing research while writing article they will commit lot of mistake kindly they are unable to publish in a reputed journal right so please understand that research work is entirely different from article writing and uh, spend some time for learning the article writing ethics article writing ethics uh, there are many channels many articles many books are there you spend some time how to uh, uh, to learn the article writing ethics if you go to next slide use the journal finder or journal suggester for selecting the journal then only you can go for you can select the appropriate journal there you have a lot of uh, criteria for uh, time to patient time and the impact factor size score acceptance rates many are there so that will give the uh, that will give the, the optimized optimistic way to select the right channel and maintain research diary to record day wise work this is important sometimes we will do some work uh, when we did that work so that day the time this are all uh, this may not be remembered it is very difficult to remember better you maintain a research diary to record day wise work that will help you for many many occasion ensure that every progress of work should be known by your supervisor so that is important whatever work you are doing that must be known by your supervisor you should not uh, create any gap between uh, you your research work and your supervisor right and impress your supervisor with your progress work. if you are uh, as per uh, the schedule or uh, phd proposal if you are doing definitely your research guide will be happy happy with your work so that is very important this uh, satisfaction is very important you try to work accordingly and be clear with your general indexing general metrics such as impact factor and size score so general indexing general metrics so the knowledge on this area is very important and uh, if any lapse in research work you utilize extra time or sunday if you go to next slide uh, do not lose your patience if part of research plan fails you are doing uh, you are doing research work with many plan if one of the plan fail you don't get disheartened and don't lose your patience you try to find out some alternative way and try to complete it uh this is possible so many research scholar uh, simply they will not uh, doing research just uh, uh, like uh, having a cup of tea so they are always you have you have some struggle you need to face some struggle to get the right work and the failure in a research plan gives better experience sometimes uh, your research plan fails you will get lot of opportunity to learn many things and do not publish papers more than your research proposal so this is an important point so uh, in your research proposal at the beginning if you are planning for four research article you do it with that somebody they will go for uh, more uh, publications than the proposal research proposal so finally it would create a problem and give preference to impact factor general rather than index in general you give the quality rather than quantity uh, already site uh, site uh, impact factor and site score there is a video i uploaded you can check it uh, always you uh, give a priority to the high impact factor general so because you are publishing three to four papers so all the three to four papers should be uh, report a high impact factor general that is important that uh, that what you have a advantage also and uh, you be clear with the plagiarism act so this is another important important thing many the many of the research scholar they are uh, uh, they are knowing this at the time of writing article or writing thesis right from beginning you know what is uh, the plagiarism act if you go to next slide 
uh, use reference generating tool. This will uh, help you to save the timing. Right? Uh, the reference editing is a very fitting task. Right? Repeatedly doing same thing. Many times we will do mistake. And the better you use the reference uh, generating tool for even if you are writing conference paper, writing journal paper, if you are writing cases, you use the reference generating tool that will save your time. Next point, write the article as per the page limit. For example, uh, you are identifying some target journal. Uh, target journal, they are asking only 5000 words. You write your article within 5000 words. Somebody, they will write 7000, 8000, that is a uh, waste of time, waste of energy. Whatever required, you write it. And uh, similarly, thesis limit also. Thesis limit, every, every university they are giving the page limit. You be within the limit, you don't uh, beyond that. Some university they are giving 100, some university they are giving 120. Right? Whatever uh, page limit uh, prescribed by the university, you adhere with that. And uh, try to visit globally recognized research labs in the specialization you, uh, by using travel brand. So, travel brand uh, is there, that provision is there for research scholar, but many of the research scholars they are not using. Uh, you apply travel brand. And uh, you try, you visit the globally uh, recognized research lab. For example, I am doing additive manufacturing uh, research. You find out uh, the one of the famous globally recognized uh, additive manufacturing research lab. You try to visit that lab. So this is possible through the travel plan. And attend one, inter one international conference in technologically advanced countries for your travel plan. While applying travel plan, some uh, PhD students uh, they will. Uh, select the countries in Asian countries like uh, somewhat uh, technologically advanced countries, I mean lower advanced. Uh, you select the uh, countries like UK, USA or some you know, uh, I mean, uh, European countries, so that is better. So uh, when compared to uh, India, that country is uh, technologically advanced. If you go to that countries, we can learn many things. If you go to next slide, uh, do not uh, divert your attention into other activities. Somebody they will uh, doing research parallelly, they will start the social service activity. So, uh, I, if you have if you have any idea to do social service activity, after PhD you keep it. And uh, do not involve research work and government job preparation simultaneously. Somebody because they are clearing GATE score and uh, CSCR and something they are uh, clearing and uh, taking PhD. That conference it, uh, it will give them to go for. Uh, preparing uh, preparing government job and doing PhD. Finally, both the tasks will be failed, right? So, uh, if you are doing research, you be focused uh, in your research. That is important. Another another important point is spend some time for your mind relaxation and mental health. So, mental health is always important. Sometimes uh, your uh, one uh, research plan fails, you will subject to a lot of mental stress. So, the mind relaxation and mental health for research scholar it is more more important. Take one week break for every three months of research work. If you are continuously doing research work, you take a one week break for every three months of research work. And have complete rest on Sunday. So that will give a good relaxation. So that Monday you can continue your research with a good spread. Next slide. Uh, ensure at least eight hours sleeping every day. This is very important for the research scholar. Somebody they will work through night and that is not good. And the next point, maintain research secrecy until it is getting published. Some people, they research secrecy everything. They will reveal to their friends and uh, in many areas, many ways, right? Uh, you maintain research secrecy until it is getting published. Once it is published, then it is open to all. And do the research work with the right spirit and do not go for book of reading. Some people uh, are doing one, uh, many stages are there doing one part and remaining thing they will develop by simulation, they will develop by cook up, uh, reading, some, something like that. This is not a good practice. Uh, maintain supporting evidence for your research finding. So, research getting obtaining research finding is easy, but uh, maintaining supporting evidence is very important. So, whenever you are writing article, whenever you are going for thesis uh, presentation, so the supporting evidence is more important for the any of your research finding. Then, uh, many people, many of the research scholars, uh, they are putting their attention into only publications. Right, uh, I am uh, requesting the research scholar to uh, think for pattern also. So, find a pattern in addition to publications. And another uh, important and interesting is marriage during the PhD course. So, uh, uh, PhD scholar you may be in two category, full time or part time. Part time PhD scholar you can uh, marry, marry at any time, there is no, not at all a problem because you have some financial support. But full time research scholar, Along with your research plan, you plan your marriage proposal also. Research proposal, marriage, marriage proposal also. Both are important. PhD score uh, to, uh, 
Research work, PhD work, the career is different, and life, is, life is different. You don't uh, mix up together. Because once uh, completion of your PhD work, you will reach around 20, 29. So 27 is the right age to do. Uh, Full-time business scholar, uh, you plan it. You spend some money savings, then you go for marriage. At any stage, you can marry, there is no problem. Uh, for full-time business scholar, if your uh, life partner uh, is a earning member, so it, is, it will be added as an advantage. So in between uh, marriage, in between the PhD scores, I think it is not at all a problem, but you need to make very clear plan. So I hope uh, this video is more useful. So those who are not subscribing my channel, please uh, do subscription for uh, further video. Thanks for watching.